Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today I would like to talk to you about the Lads of Lobland. It's a Belgian club, the Bring Your Own Bottle Club, B-Y-O-B-C, short biopsy. And, and they released these, uh, these single casks in their Lads of Lobland series. This is the whole series and I remember they had a wonderful Klein Leash. A spring bank, there's a Tormor in there, a, a secret Highland Park in Orkney. But now number eight is here and it's this one. It's a, 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 a whiskey from the space side that matured for 22 long years. And it is a, a <clears throat> excuse me, it is a Glen Keith. A Glen Keith from 1995 and it's the final one in the uh, Lads of Loblin series. And that's the one I would like to try today. Um, as you can see, I've got the complete series, and every time I got the final bottle in the series. So again, for the Glen Keith, I got bottle 88 of 88. It's that little number freak inside me that uh, that likes to collect special numbers. So for these eight, I got the final bottle in the series every time. Happy dance. Anyway, we are uh, trying this Klein Leash. 22 years old, 1995. It is bottled at 52.4% ABV. And I have to be honest, Glen Keith from the 90s hardly ever disappoints. Let's find out if this is a, a good one. It's very pale. It's, a, it's almost sunlight, uh, which is fading fast here. But it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's rather pale. And it does not really cling to the glass. But that's also because of the high uh, alcohol content, remember. 52.4%. So here we go on the nose. Well, it's a bit atypical actually. It's very herbal. I get some plant roots and some some parsley and sage, some candy ginger. But the fruit is ah, wait for it. Here it comes. Some banana, some apricots. Some dried coconut, there's even some eucalyptus in there, giving it a fresh note. Well, that's interesting. I didn't see that one coming. A very herbal, but still fruity Glen Keith uh, from 1995 on the palate then. Creamy, full bodied. Now it is quite sweet. Still herbal though, it cannot... It cannot hide its herbal side here. But the fruit now is, is mostly coconut, some sweet lemons, some blood oranges, some pears, banana. But the whole is drenched in, in quite flowery honey, giving it that sweet edge. Soft spices, I get some pepper and licorice. And the eucalyptus is there as well. So it makes for a herbal, fruity, fresh, minty Glen Keith on the finish then. It's long, it's waxy, surprisingly waxy actually, and then a bit drying towards the end. Well, I have to say it's a, it's, it's a lovely Glen Keith, it's a, a bit of an atypical Glen Keith in my book, but nevertheless a very nice Glen Keith indeed, 22 years old, and a, a worthy conclusion to the, uh, the Lads of Loblin series from that Belgian club Bring Your Own Bottle. Uh, and now you would think, hmm, the boys and girls from Lads of Lobland, from the Bring Your Own Bottle Club, now that their series is complete, are they going to quit now? Are they going to move on to something else? Yes, they are. They're already working on it. And the next release uh, will be the first one in a new series. And that new series will be called Mobsters on Mopeds. So that's, uh, hmm, I, I'm not sure what I have to... Uh, put in my mind with that but Mobsters on Mopeds is on its way but until then we can enjoy this beautiful series from the lads of Lobland and I'm not sure if you saw that but all the labels are interconnected and when you put them all next to each other like I did here and you put all the labels next to each other you get this beautiful panoramic shot with uh, eight different members of that club uh, and they represent that single malt in a special way but it would lead us too far to explain all of that and to be honest I don't even get all of it. But hey, uh, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Glen Keith, 22-year-old, 1995. The final, the eighth and final release from the Lads of Loblands. Beautiful whiskey. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling. And I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you.